times have changed. So did technology. The passion which drives motorheads has not changed, but the fuel in the automobile did. This video is about one such young Indian two-wheeler company that has had the biggest impact yet in the Indian electric mobility sector, Aethro Energy. Tarun Mehta and Sopnil Jain from IIT Madras were pursuing engineering when they realized the fact that the future is electric. They were so into the idea that even before they completed engineering, they had designs for an electric scooter. In 2013, when the founders were working in Ashok Leyland and General Motors, their professor said to leave their jobs and come back. They headed back to IIT Madras Research Park. By December of 2014, Aether had raised $1 million in seed funding from the founders of Flipkart, Sachin and Bini Bunsen and also from Raju Venkataraman of Mental Healthcare. They struggled for a year to find more investors and in 2015, Tiger Global invested $12 million. Having a hardware startup, let alone a vehicle, is a huge challenge. It is an uphill task all the way from prototyping to hiring the right talent setting up manufacturing and distribution network. In 2013 itself, before they actually started Aether, they had a sketch of this vehicle and they stuck to the rule that they are not going to mess this and are going to stick very hard to the design. In early 2016, Aether Energy unveiled the scooters Aether S340 and 450. The S340 had a lesser range and top speed of 60 km per full charge and 70 km per hour respectively in comparison to that of 450 of 70 km per full charge 80 km per hour respectively. S340 was discontinued due to low demand. One cannot imagine the level of complexities Aether might have faced. Their scooters had about 600 components and most of them, if not all, were developed by them. So it was hard to find what was going wrong. For instance, Tarun once said, Is the BMS failing in itself or is it the battery causing a BMS failure because of integration issues or is it that your architecture is messed up? You just don't know. By the end of 2016, Aether raised $29 million in funding from Hero Motor Corp. To make their products complete and practical, there is a lot of infrastructure development that needs to happen. One step towards this is Aether Grid. Aether Grid is a charging infrastructure to help facilitate owners of electric vehicles, not just Aethers, to charge their vehicles. Aether partnered with cafes, restaurants and other such public places for setting up charging stations. The cost of full charge is estimated to be between 15 to 17 rupees. As per the website, Aether Grid currently covers 14 locations across Bangalore and claims that there shall be a charging station within 4 kilometers of your radius. Aether also has its eyes on the future. Its new model, the Aether 450X, is the proof. 450X is the new improved version of 450. Let me tell you what's new and better than 450. But before that, let's see what exciting things the 450 already has. A 7-inch display, 3 driving modes, Eco, Ride and Sport. In Eco, you get the highest range that is 75 km, but the speed gets restricted to 50 km per hour. In Ride mode, the range is 65 km and you can drive up to 60 km per hour. And then there's everyone's favorite, the Sport mode. Here, you get the range of 55 km but the top speed is 80 km per hour and the acceleration is mesmerizing. And a range of 55 km in that mode, I don't see it as a compromise. That's still a good range. I mean, you travel 40 to 45 km average in a day and that too, not constantly at a speed of 80. That makes the range decent. A sign of a good company is their improvement. So Aether came up with 450X. It has got the same top speed and quite similar looks, but they increased the range by 5 km in every mode and made it lighter, seriously lighter. They reduced the weight by about 11 kgs and they didn't even change the frame. They made better electronic systems and reduced the weight of the battery. It still is a challenge for companies to make electric vehicles mainstream and even more challenging for newbies like Aether to survive. 
in my opinion, Aether managed to create a lot of buzz about electric vehicles in India, all thanks to the founders Tarun and Swapnil. That is the sole reason that Forbes India in 2018 listed them in Forbes 30 under 30. In 2020, Aether even expanded its operations to other cities out of Bangalore. Aether has a long journey ahead with many challenges. What we've covered in this video is just the beginning. See you for the next one.